Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Try to establish that jab. Nice move to punch. Right under the elbow, somebody can land. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. He's looking for that left hand. Not this. Misses with the right hand. Big kick land. And he landed the right hand there. that body. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Pretty good right hand. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Changes his stance, you'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, and he lands a punch there, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. Outstanding knee the body there, he's the taller fighter, might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Lee gets caught with that punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And that one certainly found the target. High-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Are you ready? Are you ready? Big kick land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Ooh, what a head kick. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Keep your hands up. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Finish. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Able to check the high kick. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Visibly limping here. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. Seconds left. Just misses there with the left. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Superman punch now. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. He gets caught with that punch. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that, that landed. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, just misses with the kick. The guard lands the right hand. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind him. It's nasty. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to 
of the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Straight punch lands. Real nice body kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Nice. All right, come on. Come on, Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Right, nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice. Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 15 seconds remain in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing. And this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Throws the right hand there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. How about that shin? Big kick land. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice body kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Watch the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
head kick. Nice kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Tags him with the left. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Effective jab there by Lee. Way to hide that leg kick. He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Suicide, black ain't no excuse and getting on because